From the floor of the CME Group, I'm Peter Yastro, and this is Friday, April 27th. It's been a lackluster day, and people are a little bit frustrated. We've got earnings slipping on some of the big companies. Procter & Gamble missed today. Their stock's down a couple bucks. But hey, don't look at it as their stock being cheaper. Look at it as the yield is being higher. For those of you who are searching for a place to put money, maybe this will be an opportunity to buy a stock that pays a good dividend. We're searching for opportunity. We're searching for ideas out there. The world is all looking at each other like the kids who used to play Steal the Bacon in gym class. Remember that game? We'd all say you got to go out. These one person either takes the bacon or and defends, or the other person takes the bacon and tries to uh, get back to their home base with it. Well, in this day and age, everybody seems to be waiting for the other the fat kid to take the bacon so they can steal it from them. Meanwhile, we are just in a real deadlock out of Europe. Spain is now claiming that they don't need any help, which is usually the first sign that someone needs a lot of help, and denial is always the first start of a process. So we'll watch Spain next week. We look for the problems in the Eurozone to come full force and be a major issue. Meanwhile, let's not get confused. GDP was weak today, data's weak, Obama's time's running out, we got election heating up, and the big news really is that now we know Romney's our guy. So for those anti-Obamas out there, Romney's your new champion, and there's going to be a lot of things coming out about all the things Obama's done wrong, all the things Obama's going to do better, all the things that Romney's going to do. The election's going to start. It's going to heat up quickly. So that really will result in a lot of bashing of the economic forecasts and bashing of a lot of economic spirit. So any positive attitude that was out there is going to quickly dis be disappearing. I look for stocks to get weak next week. Sorry for saying that that way. And I look for the commodities to continue to be strong. Look for currencies to be weak across the board. Look for precious metals to be strong. It's going to get real scary real fast. We've got one way out of this mess, and that's print money until the money is worthless. Nobody's got the courage, the strength, or the ability to put through austerity measures and force them down people's throats. Because in democratic societies, as soon as you try to do that, they just throw you out and bring in the next guy. So it looks like the only way out is going to be pump and dump. And right now we're in the process of pumping the system full of cheap money. Take advantage, take the money, buy stocks, and wait. From the floor of the CME Group, it's Peter Yastro.